And first, a new advisory is in. Let's begin with Vivian Gonzalez in the Weather Center. Viv? Good morning, ladies in South Florida. Winds remain as of the 8 o'clock intermediate advisory at 50 miles per hour. It's still poorly organized, moving west-northwest at 17 and now approaching the coastline of the Dominican Republic. And it's just 90 miles south east southeast of Santo Domingo. Now here are the headlines. A recon mission is currently out there investigating Erica's health. But plenty of heavy rain still falling over portions of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico as it's aiming for the Dominican Republic. Republic, and the Dominican Republic here is the key in determining Erica's future. The latest satellite picture showing that it is over 900 miles away from Miami, Florida, located in the eastern Caribbean Sea, and not looking healthy at all. The majority of the showers and thunderstorms remain to the east of the center. Here are the latest model runs to show you that they are expecting Erica to continue to move through Hispaniola, then the Bahamas, and they are in better agreement as to what will happen down the road with Erica moving through Florida. And the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center is reflecting just that, as it is expected to move through Hispaniola by this afternoon with 45 mile per hour winds, expected to exit over the southeastern Bahamas, including the Turks and Caicos, on Saturday morning, and then little by little get a little stronger over the central and northwestern Bahamas approaching South Florida now on Monday with 60 mile per hour winds as a tropical storm moving through the sunshine state. Yes, it's weaker, not a hurricane down the road for us, but we certainly need to watch its every move. Now, there are some challenges ahead, and the environment around Erica is just not looking pretty good in the Caribbean. There's some strong upper-level winds, known as shear, that is keeping the cloud tops and thunderstorm activity from growing any further. We also have to take a look at how much interaction will it have with the terrain in Hispaniola to weaken it. And if it does manage to cross through the highest peak in all of the Caribbean, which is Pico Duarte, that ranges over 10,000 feet tall, it could fall apart in the next 12 to 24 hours. But if it survives these challenges, these obstacles, there's plenty of fuel out there in the Caribbean, especially around the northwestern and central Bahamas for Erica to gain some strength. Water temperatures are running in the upper 80s. First case scenario, we have Erica falling apart over Hispaniola, bringing a flood of trouble for them. Case scenario number two has Erica missing Hispaniola altogether, and then we will have a much stronger system close by for us next week. For now, here at home, we are looking at some thunderstorm activity developing off the coast. But for the very latest on what's happening in the Caribbean, we're going to send things over to Carleen Chavis in the Seven Weather Center. Thanks, Vivian, and taking a look at those watches and warnings that are now in place. Now, we are talking about still seeing those tropical storm warnings in place for Puerto Rico, also the Virgin Islands. That's extending in towards the Dominican Republic, where the center of Erica is anticipated to strike. It's headed that direction for today. So Haiti as well, Turks and Caicos, Southeast Bahamas, Central Bahamas. And then there is a tropical storm watch that's in place for the northwestern portion of the Bahamas. So next 48 hours, favorable conditions for tropical storms. So the thing is, tropical storm watch is in place for the northwestern Bahamas. Taking a look at the radar, even though the center is starting to move, the bulk of the moisture is still just to the south of Puerto Rico, still plenty of rain showers, and there is a flood watch in place for Puerto Rico, as well as you can see those line of thunderstorms moving away from St. Croix, closer towards San Juan. So as we go into today, still some heavy rainfall. And when we're talking heavy rain, we mean four to eight inches of rainfall. Max total is about 12 inches in some spots. Also, that could lead to life-threatening flash floods, as well as mudslides. And also wind gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. So tropical storm force winds, gusts that could be higher as well. Now here's the thing. So in Pico Duarte, that is the highest mountain peak in the Caribbean. Erica is anticipated to go over the Dominican Republic. If it holds together as it goes over the area later on today, we could actually see tropical storm force winds, heavy rain, coastal impacts as soon as Sunday as Erica makes its way a little bit closer towards us. Once again, that's if it survives the obstacles of today. So we'll have your complete forecast on Erica, also your local forecast for this Friday coming up.